I previously beat Beast Swarm the way Ana intended it, and today I'm gonna do it again, but in the test realm, which means I'll suffer five times more. Like and sub so I suffer less. Let's start with a round of trivia. When you first join Beast Swarm, what is the first thing you do? Is it A, claim a hive, B, talk to Black Bear, C, get the honey dispenser, or D, all of the above? Well, you know what? That was a trick question. It's actually none of them. As Papa Ana himself said, first, head to the codes page and redeem every code you can find except the ones that give you boost. Save those for later. Since I'm in the test realm, there's only three codes that I can redeem. Dice stuff, nectar, and jelly beans, which surprisingly enough gives you jelly beans. Wow. The codes should give you a good head start on honey and tickets. The only thing that codes gave me are super smoothies and the nectar tester, which I can use and get max nectars. The next thing on it told me to do is get started by talking to Black Bear and Mother Bear and doing their quests. I can't even claim a hive. I just have to talk to this bear right here. Patches with double flowers give double pollen from gathering, so focus on gathering from these patches. Okay, here's a double thick flower, and look how quick the quest is complete. On it must know something. I mean, after all, he did make the game, so he knows his game best. And they also have to talk to Mrs. Mother Bear. The next thing Papa on it told me to do is, when your bees are converting pollen to honey, stand on the edge of the white circle nearest to the hive. All right, so I guess I finally have rights to claim a hive. Let's go. But I don't have bees. All right, let's just hope Anna intended for me to have the bear bee and the digital bee. There we go. That's so slay. And now I can click make honey. Look, there's not even a button to make honey, but my honey bee is still making honey. On its tips are just so good at this game. Upgrade your gear and grow your hive as soon as possible. Routinely check the bee egg dispenser and the noob shell for the cheapest thing you can buy and get it. Okay, so I can buy the base keg. Now I'm poor. And let's hatch the base keg. Oh wow, a basic bee. How basic. Okay, that's a terrible pun. I'm sorry. I can use a honey dispenser too. And let's buy the cheapest thing which I can buy, which is the jar. And this rake right here. I'm gonna be raking up the tears of everyone who says I keep forgetting the pedal belt. Guys, I'm literally a noob and people still say I forget the pedal belt. Like, stop. There's no way I can possibly have it, so I didn't forget it. And if you say I forgot it, I'm gonna ban you and send beehives to your house. Anyway, Anna also said buying base kegs is generally preferable to buy anything in the shop, so I've instantly broken on its laws by buying something from the shop. But whatever, my backpack is full, and now my wallet is full with all this honey that I just got. So let's buy a few more eggs, which is exactly what Onnit told me to do. One garbage bee, two garbage bee, oh wait, it's rad bee, okay, that's still garbage though. And three garbage bee. Mushroom field, blue flower, and clover have mobs in them. Your swarm can kill these, but you still want to avoid taking damage from them as soon as they are taken down. Why would I ever take damage from them? That is such a noob thing to do. <laughs> I guess that's how you take damage in Beast Swarm. Wait, mobs do not chase you while you're in the air. Jump around to confuse mobs. Yo, I'm literally gonna become an attack helicopter. And look, the mobs aren't attacking me. The King Beetle and the Ladybug are just so confused. What? Attack helicopter strat works. And this loot is just amazing. Gather up as much royal jelly as you can and use it to upgrade any basic bees. Well, luckily for me, I just got a jelly. But there's so many more to get. Oh, ticket. Jelly. Another jelly. Another jelly. I think that's enough for now. So let's use it on all of my basic bees. Luckily for me, I have exactly four and I have four jellies. Okay, hasty bee. Rascal. Brave. And lastly, exhausted bee. Now that I have more than five bees, the next thing on it tells me to do is talk to Panda Bear for a new quest that involve killing mobs. Give priority to completing his quest over Black Bear's quest. Okay, Black Bear, I'm sorry. You have to be forgotten. On it told me himself. Oh, spider. You better give me something good. Whoa. Even more jelly. And five tickets. Damn, spider. You're really packing the good loot. Anyway, Panda Bear. On it told me to do your quest. Alright, so let's do the insanely complicated Panda Bear quest of killing one ladybug. Okay, it's done. That's took like seven days to do. Okay, I've done the panda bear quest. Hopefully Papa Anna is proud of me. Oh, and something I just realized, this is the Yarg's channel. And on the Yarg's channel, we use super smoothies for haste. Luckily for me, I've saved up a bunch of honey and I can buy two base kegs. That's almost enough for 10 bees, but I need one more egg. And I know how I can get that egg by doing black bear quests. I know Anna told me to prioritize panda bear, but for now I just need that egg. All right, Anna said one more quest and I get the silver egg. All right, mushrooms done. Blue flowers done. And lastly, clover field is done. Ooh, more jelly. And I get the silver egg. Slay. For now, I don't really need gold egg. I have my 10 bees, and that's all I care about. And I got a rage bee. Let's go. Using jelly on my basic bees, just like Onnit told me. 10 plus bees. Talk to the science bear for a new quest that involve a little bit of everything, but focus on having variety in your hive. Always prioritize this quest over other quests. Just like with panda bear, I'll do a single science bear quest, but then they'll forget about him. I instantly have five bees complete. I just need pollen from strawberry and bamboo. But dude, my backpack is so small. I need something a little bigger. Like the mega jug. Yeah, that can fit a lot more pollen. These rewards are actually getting crazy, dude. White pollen is done. Bam. Boop. 
All right, Mr. Science Bear, you better give me something good. Okay, I got absolutely nothing except honey and the science enhancement. I guess convert rate is pretty good. And the 10 piece section on it also says go to the pro shop and buy the super scooper and mega jug. Well, I'm actually not quite sure if I can afford that, but I do have a few micros, so let's use one, get as much honey as possible. So I already have the mega jug, and we can also cop the super scooper. Um, could I have bought the pulsar, which is better? Maybe. But if one says, then I must do. Other collectors are not recommended at this point, as they are far too expensive for what they are capable of. Yeah, you hear that, other collectors? Anna is calling you garbage. When you have the honey to spare, buy a parachute. This will enable you to get several other royal jellies, which essentially pays for itself and then some. Wow, how convenient. I have a bunch of pollen in my backpack. What a coincidence. Nothing didn't take 10 minutes. Okay, let's buy the parachute. And surprisingly enough, it also says that floating with a parachute is equivalent to five or six stacks of haste on top of base speed. So use it everywhere to get around faster. To me, the parachute seems so slow. But I guess if Anna says it's faster, it must be faster. He would not lie to me. But he definitely didn't lie about the jelly. So let's parachute up here and then parachute to this jelly here. Nice. Oh, if I remember correctly, there's also a jelly right here. Wait, trust. I'm the parkour god. Okay, we jump up here. We run through this secret tunnel. Parachute is just coming in clutch, man. On that was not lying. I did pretty much everything I had to do for 10 bees. So what happens at 15 bees? I guess let's find out. So I need five more eggs. One, two, three. Okay, I forgot how to count. That should be enough. I don't really have a choice. I'm poor. I cannot buy any more, but this is perfect. Yo! Gifted basic bee! Oh my gosh, that's so pog. That is so clutch, dude. That's gonna help me so much. I already have a bunch of super smoothies and then mega boost but a gift the basic bee i ain't complaining all right so let's just use all these jellies on my bees iraq bee brave bee again and frosty nice 15 plus bees talk to the polar bear for new quests that involve a little bit of everything his quests take lower priority than any other quest you guys know the drill the werewolf is fast and harmful but it can be killed safely by putting the cactus or pumpkin between yourself and it let's test it out pumpkin of justice will you serve me faithfully okay yeah wait werewolf actually isn't even attacking me that's insane you guys ever want to kill the werewolf without taking damage just stand behind the pumpkin. Yo, I got a gingerbread bear. Maybe I can gift an event beer or something. 25 tickets? Holy. Also get these fireflies. Obviously, they would never scam me. Oh, vicious bee. It stung me in the b Wait, it stung me in the b Can't believe this stupid idiot killed me. I was just trying to do some polar bear quests. Speaking of which, I should probably actually get the polar bear quest. All right, what is this gonna be? Wow, that'll take like five hours to do. Okay, I'll finish it by the end of this video, trust. Another sub for 15 bees is use the royal jelly dispenser for any basic bees that you may not otherwise be able to upgrade. Okay, I'm too poor for that, but there's an easy fix to being poor. Off-camera grinding. All right, I told you I wasn't lying. The easiest way to get rich is just to do off-camera grinding. Royal jelly, let's buy one, and let's buy two because I'm rich. And I also got a few extra from the sprout right here. Bam. A honeybee. I already have that cringe sus demo. Okay, that's a new one. I'm keeping it. And I'm gonna get rid of a duplicate brave bee. Bumble. All right, sure. And hey, how about you, digital bee? You wanna go gifted, right? No. You're a scam. The next step that Anna tells me is go to the codes page and start looking for codes with boosting them. Activate those codes and focus on boosting in the fields to get lots of honey in short amounts of time. Well, like I said, there's only like three codes in the test realm, but I'm still gonna attempt to boost to try and follow along. First of all, another super smoothie for good luck, of course. We can use some loaded dice because I have like 30. Cactus first try, let's go. Cactus is like the perfect mixed field. And we can also use a black balloon because it can store a whole 9 million pollen inside. Yeah, you know what? I'm filling up way too fast. Hey, black balloon, can you wait here for a few minutes? I'm just gonna buy the portal hive and now I can store 3 million capacity damage. That's so much. And also the electromagnet, so I can reverse Earth's electromagnetic field. My favorite activity ever. Black balloon is fully filled up, and now I can convert everything on my hive, of course, using on the strategy from the start. The satisfying nectar is letting me get so much more honey. Kinda crazy, as a great vitamin would say. I got a little more honey now, and let's buy four base eggs because I don't want to hit 20 bees just yet. If base eggs are starting to become very expensive, return to the pro shop and buy some high end items instead. All right, seems legit. Let me just hatch these eggs first. Okay, all basic bees. Riley and Bumble. Like Onnit said, I need to get some better items. And one last thing that Onnit didn't tell me to do, but I will still do, so I suffer less, is I'm gonna cop the Red Porta Hive. Yeah, that's gonna make life a lot easier. Now I have 5 million capacity. And I forgot all these badges I have to claim. I'm not sure why I didn't claim any of them, but this is gonna be a lot of extra tickets. When I guess Onnit decided to give me the quest badge and the battle badge for free, that would have been so useful earlier, but whatever. Let's also get the cactus badge, crows, pineapple, and that's it. Beside that, I'm a poor sus, but now I have almost. 500 tickets. Damn. Wait, that's actually so much. Let's buy my 20th egg. And now I officially have 20 bees. 20 plus bees. You now have access to the ant challenge, which is an excellent source of royal jelly and will help you quickly improve the quality of your
your hive. It also allows you to get another amulet. What do you mean another amulet? I have none. No! You idiot! I hate you. Skull, you know what? Your whole life is gonna be a skull if you don't leave right now. What a freaking scammer, bro. But let's check if Anna's lying to me or not. Is the ant challenge really that good for jelly? Yo! Anna wasn't lying. This is the best source of jelly ever. So obviously I'm replacing. This amulet is amazing. And I'm gonna gamble away all the jellies I just got like a true gambler. You make a little profit and you spend it all gambling instantly. Bro, why am I only getting cool bees? Stop. That is not Pogger. Commander, let's go. Your swarm may now be strong enough to take on the Tunnel Bear. Kill him every two days for lots of honey and jelly. I'm not sure if my bees will actually be able to kill the Tunnel Bear because they're all pretty low level. I guess there's only one way to find out. Bees, you better not freaking scam me. I swear. Yeah, my bees suck balls. I guess I'm gonna have to do some more leveling up. So we're gonna buy a few treats and I'm instantly gonna go broke. That should be enough. Now my whole hive is almost level five, but I'm missing one thing and that is 25 bees. So let's buy as many eggs as I can and I can only buy two, which means I'm gonna have to do a bit more boosting. But for now, let's hatch these two base kegs. Bam. And secondly, scam. But I realized something. Getting 25 bees will be so much easier if I just buy the crimson and cobalt bee, which I only need six more tickets for. Hey, werewolf, do you mind dying real quick? Will I get enough tickets? Yeah! No, I'm just kidding. I got excited for no reason. I'm literally one ticket off. What a scam. Well, easiest way to get a ticket in bee swarm is obviously to get the next batch from cactus field. I'm gonna have to boost regardless, so I might as well get this batch done. I got cactus, and I'm ready to make my quadrillions of honey. And I also got the sussiest player in bee swarm, who also has a few fuzzy bees. This is gonna help the grinding process so much. I'll be honest, I'm making a little too much honey. So lastly, let's fill up this black balloon, which has 300 million freaking capacity, bro. It's gonna take three to five business days to convert. But whatever, I'll get it done. More importantly, I need the honey. A lot more honey has been made, so we can buy the crimson egg, the cobalt egg, and next we hatch both of them. Nice. I only need one more bee. And I also bought a bunch of treats to give to my bees. Wait, no! I literally fed all my treats to cobalt bee! I added an extra zero on accident. No, that's such a scam. Okay, at least I'm making all this honey back from this balloon. But still, I'm actually super poor. What the heck? That is the biggest scam ever. Buy the base gag. Let's hatch it. It's a scam bee. At least I have a jelly to use on it. A hasty. Okay, 25 bees. Spend the remainder of your honey on luxury items that further improve the quality of your swarm or your own gathering. I'm not really sure how much luxury I can buy with the honey that I have, but I'm gonna try my best. So first of all, one hype slot for funsies. The glider, obviously. And I guess I can purchase the porcelain dipper and the- No! Wait! I misclicked! I was gonna buy the hype slots! Dude, I swear, what the heck? Why am I getting scammed this much in this video? It's not even my fault. On it literally scammed it and made me buy the spark staff. I officially broke an unwritten rule in Bee Swarm and I bought the spark staff. It was an accident though, so it doesn't count, right? But at least now, I'm super quick with the glider. Buy hive slots to increase your hive size and fill them with eggs received from quests or mob drops. So I guess the next few eggs I get have to be free, either from quest lines or drops. Since I'm already in this area, I might as well get the free gold egg in the werewolf cave. But first, I need a bunch of haste. All right, I'm hoping I have enough haste here. Let's just run. You stupid spiders, you better not kill me. Let's get the gold egg. Please, let's go. Can I survive? Yo, wait, did I survive? I literally got the gold egg and I survived. That's literally the first time I've ever done that. And I know another easy way I can get an egg from Black Bear. And he's also gonna give me a gold egg. So let's finish this gold egg quest line real quick. Okay, red request is done. 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 On it. Update. Beast form. Or else. The last quest. And then I get my free egg. On it, please. Give me like a mythic from this. I swear. I literally spent a whole three minutes doing this quest line. Two whole gold eggs to gamble. One. Music B. Let's go. That's not terrible. At least I unlocked the blue HQ now. And I have two star jellies to gamble. Gifted Bumble. That's a scam. And Gifted Bumble. That's a scam. Literally the worst possible combination of bees I ever could have gotten. Okay, well, I know one more place I can get a free star jelly. Thank you, Mr. Gummy Bear. And now I'm stuck here. Wow, what a scam. Third time's the charm. Bumblebee, please don't turn into a gifted bumblebee. Rascal. Just as bad, but whatever. At least it's a new bee type. There's never a better time to make honey. So we're also gonna do a quick sunflower boost. I do have all these loaded dice for a reason to use them. Sunflower times three. Pop another super smoothie for good luck. And let's let the suffering commence. Oh, just kidding. Someone did meteors. I need that really badly. Actually, I lied. Meteors are a scam, so I'm going back to boosting. Okay, gained a little bit of honey. So let's see how many hives slots I can buy. One, two, three. Wait, I can actually buy so many. I'm gonna hold off on buying them for a little bit because first I have some upgrades to make, but as you guessed, I need three more base eggs. One, two, and three. And all the eggs are now 10 million honey. What a scam, but whatever. Okay, one scam bee, two scam bee, and three scam basic bee. Let's use a jelly. Please be something new. That's a rage bee. I already have one. Well, I'm gonna cop a few more treats, and this time I'm just hoping I won't waste them all on one single bee. Said, let's paste the treats out between all my bees. They all get equal treatment. Well, except for honeybee. Honeybee is going to level 7 instantly, because honeybee is the sexiest bee in the game. 
don't know if we all know that. I become so powerful that I have the button to make honey, even though there's no honey to make. I have zero pollen. I guess in every video, I have to break the game somehow. I'm gonna do some more grinding to buy more treats and level up my bees, and hopefully I can kill the tunnel bear. But I also unlocked 30 bees, so I have to get to that as well. Okay, I got a few more treats, which means a lot more bees going to the next level. My entire hive is now level 6 or higher. 30 plus bees. You're pretty much a BSS pro now. You probably have learned enough about this game through reading this guide and playing the game. Head past the bear gate and talk to Onnit for some endgame quests. That should take you a long time to complete. Okay, Mr. Onnit, please give me a quest that will not take that long to complete because this guy is like 20 years old. Yeah, that's gonna take forever, but some sacrifices have to be made. I'm also only gonna finish this video when I complete a spear bear quest because that is now the definition of becoming endgame. So let's buy a few extra hype slots. I can only buy one, but that's good enough. And I can also get the free diamond egg from under Onnit. If you guys do not know what I'm talking about, there is actually a free diamond egg right there. So to get it, you have to just jump down and glide towards it. Hopefully I don't die here. Yes, let's go. I got the diamond egg and I'm dead. That is so unpog. But whatever, at least I got my diamond egg, so let's hatch it. Please be mythic. Wow, a ninja scam. I know something else that is a really big scam, but I'm still gonna do it. Royal jelly, because you just can't go without using jellies. So let's buy like 50. That's all I can afford. I mean, I can afford more, but that's all I'm gonna get for now. I only need three more B types to use the red cannon. That is literally all I care about. Please be a new B type. Shock to be. Oh my gosh, two more. Don't scam me. I'm begging you. Bucko, dude, two for two. I need one more B type. Stubborn! Three for three. What the heck? Why am I so lucky for once? I guess Onnit felt bad for scamming me all those times. Lion, lay. And I also got the Honey Badge Master. Like I said, this video will not end until I complete a Spear Bear quest. And hopefully that will be really soon. All right, so I need five more Hive slots. How many can I buy? One, two. I can only buy two because I'm poor. And I still have to buy eggs. So let's buy one and two eggs. Wait, no, I bought three. I guess I'm gonna need them at some point anyway. There we go. And then I get a Riley. Bro, this boosting is taking forever. I'm not even kidding. Okay, I admit it. I did too much off-camera grinding. That leads me to buying two more hive slots, which is exactly how much I need to unlock the 35B area. And remember, as soon as I finish Spirit Bear's quest, I've officially beat Beast Swarm the way Ana intended it. So I'll attach these two eggs right here, but I don't care. All I care about is just having 35 bees so I can jump up here. Wait, can I even jump up here? I literally don't even have enough jump power. Okay, bear more of clutching up. Mrs. Fair Bear, what is your first quest gonna be like? And the first quest, it's actually not even that terrible. Once you do like five or 10 spirit bear quests, it gets really bad, but the first one, it's pretty simple. So first of all, I need some pollen from Dandelion, which I can do pretty easily, considering on it gave me a bunch of loaded dice. Can I please get Dandelion? That is a scam. I'm running out of dice. Just kidding, I got Dandelion, let's go. All right, Dandelion's done. Now moving on to Mountaintop. Dude, I'm literally trying to get pollen from Mountain Top, and as soon as I come up here, the mod the trick freaking spawns. Why? Because Onnit loves to see me suffer. And this is literally gonna take like five days to kill. After seven long months of grinding, Mountain Top Field is also done. Ignore the mod trick. It took me seven months, not six minutes. For the Sunflower Seed tokens, I'm gonna need to go to Sunflower, but first, I'm gonna have to buy Sprouts. Because I literally have zero. I never thought I would resort to spending tickets on Sprouts, but luckily I have a bunch of tickets. And I managed to buy a few Magic Beans. So I have to make the most out of all of these. 100 sunflower seed tokens is 100% doable. From one sprout, I got 20 sunflower seed tokens. This should be way more than enough. I got all the sunflower seed tokens that I need. I just need honey tokens and some more white pollen. And some guy's doing sprouts up there in top field. Even though I'm a red backpacker, I'm just gonna pretend that I'm a blue backpacker and I'm just gonna steal all of this guy's loot. I especially need honey tokens and sprouts give a lot of them. Mr. Blue Backpack here to ruin your day and steal all your loot even though I'm a red backpack. The only thing I have left is honey tokens. So the way I'm gonna get them is I'm just gonna run around the map and kill mobs. That's the only thing I can do. Or wait, each mob I kill gives like five honey tokens, so it shouldn't even take that long. 17 more, 10 more, five more, and one more honey token, which I'm about to get on three, two, one. Yes! I beat Beast Worm the way Ana intended it, 100%. I'll be honest, unlike the main game, this video didn't take me seven days to complete, but I definitely went through a lot more suffering trying to complete it. But the suffering is gonna end as soon as I turn this quest in. So Mr. Spirit Bear, I mean Mrs. Spirit Bear, same thing. There's no difference. Give me your words and I'm done. I'm done suffering. Yes! It's done. It's official. So if you guys want to play using this guide for yourself, I'm going to leave it in the description. It's actually so much fun playing with this guide, but take what it says with a grain of salt because after all, this was made over five years ago. Oh, and one last thing. I have to attempt the tunnel bear again, but I'm not sure if it's going to be possible considering my bees are still kind of low level. Maybe they'll do a bit more damage this time. Okay, wait. We're actually doing some damage. Already a thousand done, but all my bees are like level six and seven, so they're all going to sleep. So cringe. But dude, 6,000 health left. Actually, you know what? I shouldn't even be 
surprised. Anit told me step by step on what to do to achieve this in beast form, so obviously Anit knows what's best. I am running out of space slowly but surely, but so is Tunnel Bear's health. Less than a thousand left, 600, 500, and the Tunnel Bear is dead! And I even get the gifted silver egg. Please don't be a cringe scam sauce. Gifted Rad B. Hey, it's a new B type. I can't be complaining. So if you guys enjoyed watching me suffer, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.